So 20 months ago, this happened. Obviously, man's leaving the train station now, going up the escalators. Then I start to get messages because obviously London Underground there's no reception in it. Yeah. Ping, ping, ping. Couple messages pop up on my phone in it. Yeah. One was from my previous work colleague. Yeah. He was at the Holborn site. Yeah. We still there now. Yeah. Yo, Jay. I've seen your YouTube videos, and so has everyone else on site. You have gone viral and you are now the laughing stock of the construction site. And it happened again. But it's not a door. Man got two book sales out of it, innit? So boom. As you know already, my book's listed on eBay, innit? And to promote the book, man's posted up a promo on Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp and that, innit? So with my Facebook account, it's public, it's open to the world, isn't it? So anyone that knows my full name can type my full name on Facebook and find me. Anyway, eBay has this uh, notification bell, isn't it? And man love the sound of this notification bell. It's the sound of money. I love hearing that sound, you know. One more time. Jeez. Anyway, when I hear that sound, I know say that someone's bought the book in it. Just about to head out of my door to go to work. You know. Past the front door, took a step outside. Man heard the sound. I'm like, all right. Good start to the morning, you done man. Back tap my phone. Went to go and see who this person is that she bought the book. And for the purpose of this video, make a man call the woman Jane Smith. I see a Jane Smith from such and such area, which is local to man. I'm like, nah. It can't be Jane Smith because there's a Jane Smith that works at my workplace. So boom, I was gonna leave it and just post off the thing, yeah. wrap up this book, send it off in it, and not say nothing. I wait for it to come to me. But I thought, nah, my curiosity got the better of me. Or even curiosity, man knew in it. I just need to. To confirm, you understand what I'm trying to say, innit? So, so man's phoned up a Jane Smith that works at my workplace. Do you live at Silver Street, for example? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what, did you buy my book? She was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, how did you find my thing? Facebook. As I said, anyone that knows, man, can type in man's full name. And uh, yeah, can pre a man. What's funny is I'm thinking to myself, how long have these people then been pre in me? Because I know it weren't just a, oh, I randomly searched Jay on, you know, two, three days ago and his thing popped up. People then probably been pre in man for the longest. Pre in man a whole seven, eight months, you know. Now, man's feeling like, rah, like then, then, then. Man's got ninja watchers, you know, as a certain man will call it. You're the secret admirers and that. The car, no. This person's not the only person who's been watching, man. Man, no. More than likely, the whole office knows. But no one, yeah, everyone just keeps it stum. So now, <laughs> when I'm going into the office and that, um, to drop off this book, because there's no point, if I know someone, that you know, I will see on a regular basis. Well, why am I gonna waste my three or four pound posting uh, the book and that to someone's address when I could just give it to them in person? So anyway, when I've gone to the office now, now I'm feeling like a celebrity in it because I know the whole of the people them in the office has been watching man for months or everything. Even if it's one or two videos, in it, people have been watching man. In it, it's not every day that you will meet someone that has a social media presence in it. Yeah, as small as it Ras Clark is. 
So um, yeah, gone in the office now, and um, she handed the lady the book, and uh, yeah, got two bookshelves out of it. The lady wanted to buy one, then my supervisor bought one as well. My man backed out a twenty quickly. So I guess it's not a bad thing, innit? I guess it's not a bad thing that obviously people are watching, man, innit? Because at the end of the day, if you're buying my thing, you're actually supporting, man. Because I don't think, yeah, not one of my family members has bought my book yet. I'm not saying not anyone has to, but it just goes to show you'll get more, as I said before, you'll get more love and support outside of your friend circles or your family circles and that then you actually the people then that you grow with people then that you're close with people then that you show dna with you get more love from the outsiders than your friends and family mad mad but um i'm just pleased about something like wow there's a lot of like nitty-gritty details in that book you know but it is what it is isn't it you're like me I just take every day as it comes in, yeah, and just know say that you know what, yeah. <laughs> Each day could be your last day in employment and that, innit? So I'm a contractor, innit? Yeah? So man, man just live life like that, innit? Yeah? Like it is what it is, innit? Man, I get a next job somewhere else, innit? Yeah, but I don't think I ain't even got nothing to even consider, like even think about for a second, worrying about or whatever, innit? But I know if I was working for some corporation like Homes at Harringay. Oh, with my content, blood, a man will be gone. What? Talking about race, black man talking about white man, talking about women. No, 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 no. Oh, you're not representing the council in a good light. You're gone, fam. Even the council, this is how you know the council really up in your business, you know. They must have found out. So this is when man was working at Holmes Harringay. They must have found out that I set up a limited company and like they were talking like it didn't even get to that stage but they were talking like they want to go for like disciplinary and what blood my activities outside of work ain't got nothing to do with you you know it's not like like a man's doing electrical work as well like if I was into some zoonography I ain't gonna say the p word innit yeah you feeling the blacks if I was into some zoonography or something like that then yeah, maybe you could, you understand, but man, just doing the, the same thing that I do to you lot, man's doing it outside, innit, and they slightly had a problem with that, you know how HR are, innit, HR think they're the fucking police and that, they're trying to all get up in man's business and that, but I don't even know, I think they just left it, just said, ah, oh, fuck it, whatever, innit? as long as it don't clash with um, your daily duties, working for us Monday to Friday, innit, then do your thing, whatever, innit, but just the fact that they were even interested we wanted to question a man about it and that it's just nonsense and that, isn't it? But yeah. But like imagine I got fired. Imagine like I got fired because of my content and that. I'm talking about this job. So imagine I got fired because of my content um uh on my YouTube channel and in my book and that. It just comes with the territory, innit? It comes with the territory, innit? If you're gonna put yourself out there, boy, you better be ready for what comes with it. Better be ready for what comes with it. You can't make money and that without someone trying to hate on you or whatever. And I ain't saying it's hate or whatever. What I'm saying is you're going to get some pushback. and It's not all plain sailing and that. So man's ready for it anyway. Man's ready for it anyway. Although it probably nothing's going to happen anyway. But um, yeah, yeah. I felt, I felt, I felt like a, a miniature celebrity and like, rah, he's not been watching man for a while now, you know. For a while now, you know. But yeah, got two book sales out of it, innit? So can't complain, innit? But um yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what? The last um construction site that I was at, that Holborn job, the infamous Holborn job, they actually banned me from the construction site because one of my videos got leaked and that um they were circulating. Obviously, people were going through my whole content on my channel and that. And um I got banned from that construction site because I had the company logo at the, um, behind me. Imagine the company was called uh, Top Builders or something like that. When man's making a video in the in the meeting room with Top Builders logo in the back, they seen that and they said, "Yeah, we banned him from the construction site." And, and yeah. 
So yeah, these are the things that can happen, you know, when you put yourself out there and like anything. But it comes with the territory, innit? It is what it is, man. Don't know. Stay away.